These behind-the-scenes glimpses into Hollywood history have us completely smitten with the past, from Who's the Boss, to David Bowie and Hugh Hefner. Marilyn Monroe remains one of the biggest pop icons in history and is widely considered one of the most beautiful women in the world. Even her death has achieved legendary status as conspiracy theories still surround it decades later. Grace Kelly is seen here swimming in 1955, before she became the Princess of Monaco. Deidre Hall and Judy Strangis portrayed Electra Woman and Dinah Girl in 1976, a live-action science fiction children's television series that only aired 16 episodes in one season. This is an early photo of the Beatles stopping for gas while touring back in 1963. This year marked the beginning of Beatlemania, a cultural phenomenon sparked by the band's rise to fame. Tanya Roberts, also known as Victoria Lee Blum, was a model before transitioning into acting and producing. She replaced Shelley Hack in the fifth season of Charlie's Angels in 1980 and played Kiri in The Beastmaster in 1982. She was also featured on the cover of Playboy in October 1982 to help promote the movie. Then, she played Stacey Sutton in the James Bond film A View to a Kill in 1985. Tuesday Weld Born Susan Weld, began acting as a child and matured into more serious roles in the late 1950s. She won a Golden Globe Award for Most Promising Female Newcomer in 1960 and spent the next decade establishing herself as a dramatic actress. Her work in Play It As It Lays, 1972, was acknowledged with nominations for a Golden Globe Award. She received a nomination for Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for Looking for Mr. Goodbar, 1977. Then she went on to earn an Emmy Award for The Winter of Our Discontent, 1983, and a BAFTA for Once Upon a Time in America, 1984. Here we have a photo of singer Bob Dylan and actor Robert De Niro hanging out backstage at the Roxy back in 1976. Sir Michael Caine, known for his distinctive Cockney accent, has appeared in over 115 films, including his iconic roles as Ebenezer Scrooge in The Muppet Christmas Carol and Alfred Pennyworth in The Dark Knight Trilogy. His breakthrough came in the 1960s with starring roles in British films like Zulu, Alfie, and The Italian Job, and he achieved critical success in the 1980s, winning a BAFTA, a Golden Globe, and an Academy Award. In this photo, Colonel Sanders and Alice Cooper are captured together in the 1970s. Cooper humorously reflects on the irony of being labeled a chicken killer while posing with the mass murderer of chickens himself. Steve McQueen and his Bullet co-star were the subject of rumors about an affair, but it turns out they never came close to having one. The science fiction television series, Lost in Space, aired in 1965 and follows a pioneering family of space colonists, the Robinsons, and their many struggles and adventures, evolving to include storylines focused on Dr. Troublesome Zachary Smith and the robot, who provided much conflict, comic relief, and misadventures.
The film Jailhouse Rock was a musical drama starring Elvis Presley and directed by Richard Thorpe. It premiered in Memphis, Tennessee on October 17, 1957, and nationwide on November 8, 1957. Despite mixed reviews, it peaked at number 3 on the Variety box office chart and made $4 million. Freddie Mercury, the lead vocalist of the rock band Queen, was also a record producer and had a successful solo career. He passed away at the age of 45 in 1991 due to complications from acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, AIDS. Check out this gem. The cast of The Fresh Prince of Bel Air hanging out at Hugh Hefner's mansion in the early 1990s. Will Smith, Karen Parsons, and Alfonso Ribeiro posing with Hefner during the show's prime. In 1959, comedian George Carlin met Jack Burns and formed a comedy team, eventually becoming a legend known for his dark humor and influence on many comedians. In January of 1969 tensions were high with the Beatles, about 11 weeks after the Nightmare recording sessions for the White Album. There was hostility over Yoko Ono encroaching on the band and Paul McCartney was being accused of bossing the group around and preaching to Harrison about his playing. Ringo had already just about walked away for good. It was around this point, old friend Billy Preston stepped in. He first met the Beatles back in 1962 in Hamburg when they were just starting out. Harrison and Preston stayed lifelong friends and bringing Preston in was like bringing over family that everyone had to behave in front of. Harrison recruited Preston to play with the Beatles on the Get Back project and it worked. He contributed musically and kept everyone on their best behavior for the duration. This photo shows John Stamos with a serious hair obsession back in 1981, before he gained recognition for his role on Full House and General Hospital. In this photo, we see Sammy Davis Jr. with his bride, Swedish actress Mae Britt, in 1960. They faced controversy due to interracial marriage being illegal in many U.S. states at the time. Despite this, they were married until their divorce in 1968. On August 9, 1962, Jackie Gleason embarked on a 4,337-mile train excursion from Los Angeles to New York to promote his new TV show. Hedda Hopper wrote about the extravagant send-off, complete with balloons, midgets, a band, beautiful girls, and 210 freeloaders. This photo shows a long line of fans waiting outside the theater for the blockbuster film, Star Wars, in 1977. Wow, check out this throwback photo of gothic Kelly Ripa in All My Children. Her debut was on Thanksgiving Day in 1990 as heroine Haley Vaughn, who showed up in Pine Valley, dressed like Joan Jett slash Elvira hybrid and full of sass. Her rebellious character was the niece of Trevor Dillon, James Kibbard, whom she affectionately called Uncle Porkchop. Despite how she appeared and behaved at first, she soon won over audiences and the residents of the fictional town after her rough upbringing came to light and her rambunctious ways were exposed as just a defense mechanism. In this photo, we see a young Desi Arnaz and Lucille Ball, 
who went on to become a famous Hollywood power couple and starred in the hit show I Love Lucy. Check out this groovy photo of Steven Seagal rocking some serious 70s hair back when he was a martial arts instructor. In this photo, we see David Bowie in the designs of John Steven, on a modeling assignment with Jan D'Souza in 1965. Bowie was known for his outlandish stage presence and unique music, remaining a phenomenon in the entertainment industry throughout his life. The Spaceman character was one of Disney's Tomorrowland theme park's most iconic elements of the 1950s and 1960s, and in this rare photo from the Disneyland archives, Space Woman makes an appearance. Lennon's controversial statement about the Beatles being more popular than Jesus caused protests and backlash in the United States. Here is a shot of Paul Newman during the filming of The Young Philadelphians back in 1959. The award-winning actor also went on to become a director, producer, philanthropist, and quite the race car driver. In this photo, we see the main cast of the film Butch Cassidy in The Sundance Kid, including Paul Newman, Catherine Ross, and Robert Redford, on set in 1969. The iconic Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters was brought to life using miniatures, optical compositing, and a flammable outer layer of a latex suit. Here are the outsiders, Ralph Macchio, Rob Lowe, Patrick Swayze, Tom Cruise, Emilio Estevez, Matt Dillon and C. Thomas Howell on set back in 1982. This classic coming-of-age drama was Francis Ford Coppola's on-screen adaptation of the novel of the same name by S. E. Hinton. This film, also famous for its cast, helped fuel the whole Brat Pack genre of the 1980s. This is a photo of Axl Rose and Steven Tyler from 1988. After the photo was taken, Axl and Slash had a falling out, leading to the band split. Steven Tyler tried to convince Axl to reconcile with Slash, similar to what John Bon Jovi had done for Tyler and Joe Perry. Warren Beatty's big sister is actress Shirley MacLaine, and he didn't want to be known around town as Shirley's younger brother. He wanted to make it on his own, so he did. Keanu Reeves is best known for his acting career, launching in 1985 and spanning more than three decades. He gained notoriety for starring in several blockbusters, including the Bill and Ted franchise, Point Break, Speed, The Devil's Advocate, Constantine, and The Matrix. His more dramatic films include Dangerous Liaisons, My Own Private Idaho, Little Buddha, and Bram Stoker's Dracula. Sigourney Weaver, best known for her role in 1977's Aliens, has appeared in over 15 sci-fi box office hits and grew up in Manhattan, New York. She began using the name Sigourney after reading the novel, The Great Gatsby. In February 1968, 
the Beatles attended a transcendental meditation program at the ashram of Maharishi Mahesh Yogi in Rishikesh, India, along with their wives, girlfriends, assistants, and reporters. George Harrison played a key role in promoting Indian spirituality and transcendental meditation. Rosalie Anderson, Andy, McDowell has had a successful career in both film and modeling. In 1967, there's a rare photo of Bruce Lee with his son Brandon Lee, who also went on to become an actor, but tragically passed away while filming The Crow in 1993. This is the Monkeymobile, a modified Pontiac GTO built for the Monkees, a pop rock band and television program. It included a unique windshield, convertible top, and modified panels. The Monkees were active from 1965 to 1971 and consisted of Mickey Dolenz, Michael Nesmith, Peter Tork, and Davy Jones. The Mod Squad, a crime drama that aired from 1968 to 1973, featured the first young undercover cops on television and earned several award nominations. This is actor Tim Curry, known for his iconic and mostly villainous roles throughout his long career. He's had many memorable roles, including Dr. Frankenfurter in the Rocky Horror Picture Show, Darkness in Legend, and Pennywise the Clown in Stephen King's It. Check out this dinosaur sighting from 1983. This was the decade when personal computers, PCs, went mainstream. They were huge, had horrible graphics, but back then they were awesome. The Bugaloos was a Saturday morning children's television series produced by Sid and Marty Croft, featuring a four-bug rock sensation. This is a photo of Kurt Cobain and Courtney Love in 1992, the year they were married. Unfortunately, Kurt Cobain took his own life in 1994, leaving behind a devastating loss for his loved ones and the music industry. In this photo, Carly Simon is wearing a smirk while Steven Tyler appears to write her number on his arm back in 1979, but she didn't write the iconic breakup song about the Aerosmith frontman. 